everyone and welcome to another episode of Design Like a Pro. I'm your host Nikki and today I'm going to show you how to set up your file for magazines. This is something that a lot of you have been asking me to cover so I just wanted to cover this first and foremost and this is just setting up a blank template for your magazine and then in future tutorials we'll be covering things like how to design a magazine cover, how to fill in those pages with content, how to create master pages and mast heads for your magazine. All of that will be covered in upcoming tutorials so be sure to keep tuning in and if you subscribe you will get the latest updates right in your inbox of when these tutorials become available. So let's get started here. We're just going to start with a blank document. Now I always start with this as a workflow and then once you create this you can use this again and again for multiple magazines and then keep taking those documents and making them into their own magazine. So we start with a new document and there's a lot of things to consider. First and foremost I encourage all of you to go out to a bookstore that has a lot of magazines and take a look at some. Look at the magazines that you like, ask yourself why you like them, jot down some notes about design trends, what's going on with all of these magazines, and then make sure that you're looking at magazines that are in the area that your magazine is going to be focusing in. Look at the competition. If you're into fashion, you need to be looking at Vogue and the leaders in those areas. If you're looking at an art magazine, then make sure that you are looking at comparable magazines to that area because you'll find that while a lot of magazines have similar traits, the genres really focus on different things, how things are laid out in that magazine. So this is an area that you need to do a lot of research before you even start your process in InDesign because the more that you can do in this, the better off you'll be in finding what you need to do for your magazine. So let's get started here. These settings are what I use for the magazine that I design. Now this will definitely help you when, when you're looking at your design. It's not going to be exactly like yours, but this will help you with your workflow. So I design a magazine that's 24 pages. Now considering the magazines that you could buy off the rack, that's not a lot. But it is a specific magazine that targets the art world, so there's not always a lot of pages involved in this. Whatever page count you end up with, you're going to find that you're going to end up with an even number. And that has to do with the pages that you have and how everything works double-sided to create your final magazine needs to be an even number. And as you research magazines, you'll get a feel for some popular page counts. And money has a lot to do with that as well. The, obviously, the more pages you have, the more expensive it is to work the magazine and produce it. So facing pages it needs to be checked and we're going to work in a custom size here close to 8.5 by 11 but not quite. So we have 8.375 by 10.875. I always set columns here. I'll tell you why in a minute. My margins are always half an inch and let's not forget about that bleed. An eighth of an inch bleed needs to go all the way around the outsides. Okay, so now we have our blank magazine ready to go. First thing, here we have all of our blank pages. Number one is your cover. Number 24 is your back cover. And all the pages in between just waiting for some content. Now, why did I put columns here? Well, let me tell you, when you're dropping in text, this is the coolest thing. You can line up all of your elements to fit into these columns. You want to make sure that all of your text content stays within these pink lines, but you can get really creative with your text boxes. You can put text anywhere on a page, but it keeps it in a nice uniform box here. As you can see, we can do a lot here. You can overlap, you can make everything into nice even columns but when you have these guides here it really helps you to drop in elements and then it helps you keep it straight as well so as you drop in more elements 
you can drop in another box and then another box and it keeps it in line. So having columns and magazine layout is very important. It makes it very easy to design and then it helps you kind of see things. Like when you have text right here, you can see this white space. Well, maybe you want to do something in there. You might want to put a very skinny photo, a block of color, anything that would work right there. That could be your headline, really large font. A lot of design opportunities open up when you have these columns and you'll be amazed at how easy it is to come up with new ideas. The only other thing I want to share with you today is setting up a really basic master page and there we already have covered master pages in a previous tutorial so I am going to walk through this rather quickly but the things you want to keep in here is a page number so if we right click in this text box insert special character markers current page number it says a because we're not actually on a page we're on a master page and then perhaps we have name of magazine and then we might have a website and we might have a phone number here we might have an issue number here anything that you want to put on all of your pages can go in this box and I always move it just below this line now why do I do that I always say to keep text inside well this is usually smaller 10 point font or below because it's very secondary information here but you want to have enough room for your contents and this usually is close enough to the edge it won't get cut off it's in a safe place but it allows you to put a lot of information up here so we're going to copy and paste this text box bring it down and bring it over because you want to have the same thing on the other side but the only difference is is you want to reverse this so we want to leave that page number there but we need to reverse this and work backwards so we have issue number phone number this is all recommended this is not anything you have to follow this is just some common things that could be down in this area I hit enter, bring that back up. Okay. Website, and then we have name of magazine. And then we need to put our page number back. Okay. So the reason I reverse this is because you want my your page numbers on the outside edges of your pages. So that's why it's reversed. And then you have something like this. Of course, you might want to style this, choose a font color, choose a specific font size. All of that can be decided based on what you'd like to do. And what happens? Well, see, now we have it appear on all of our pages. Now, what you can do is you can always turn this off. If you don't want it to be on your cover, then you right click on that and you select none for your master and then you can see that it is not on your cover you don't want a page number on your cover you may not want it on a specific page so if you don't it's very easy to turn that off or you can just bring photographs all the way down and cover that up if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and if you have any ideas for any upcoming tutorials, feel free to email me at ideas at NikkiHeart.com and I will do my best to feature those in an upcoming tutorial. Again, please subscribe so you can stay updated and on the tutorials that I release that have to do with magazine design because we will be launching a lot more discussion about magazine design in upcoming tutorials.